Well, welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, we're going to work a few practice problems on how to determine the names and formulas of a variety of molecular compounds. Now, if you haven't yet watched the lesson video on this, I encourage you to do that first. I'll link that below in the description. And you may also want to download the accompanying PDF worksheet so you can print it out and follow along at home. And one last thing you might want to check out on the GetChemistryHelp.com website is I have a list of nomenclature rules and guidelines that are really helpful. So you may want to have that handy while you're going through this. And I'll link all of that below in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and practice naming NO2. So first we want to name the first nonmetal. So N is nitrogen. And there's only one nitrogen. So you might recall from our lesson video that you don't include mono on the first nonmetal, only if the second nonmetal has only one. So nitrogen, we just call nitrogen. And then we have oxygen. And the name of the second element always has the ending changed to ide. So oxygen becomes oxide. And we have two oxygens, so we do use the prefix di. So we put that in front here. So the name is nitrogen dioxide. How about PCL5? Well, P is phosphorus. And again, we don't use mono on the first nonmetal if there's only one. Cl5. Well, Cl is chlorine. Again, the second nonmetal, you change the ending to ide. So that becomes chloride. And the prefix for five is penta. So we put pentachloride. And that's all one word. So phosphorus with the space and then pentachloride, all one word. Okay, I2F7. So two iodines. Well, two is di and iodine. Again, we just keep the regular name. So it's going to be di iodine. And notice we do keep both of these I vowels together. You don't need to drop one. It's di iodine. And then seven fluorines. So seven we see is hepta. And fluorine becomes fluoride because, again, we change the ending of the second nonmetal to end with IDE. So diiodine heptafluoride. Okay, number four, SB3Cl9. Now, I want to point out quickly, SB is antimony, which is technically a metalloid or a semimetal. But again, you can name metalloids or semimetals the same way you can nonmetals. You can name these like molecular compounds. So three antimonies, well, that would be tri-antimony. And then we have nine chlorines. So nine we see as nona. And again, we change chlorine to chloride because it's the second nonmetal. And number five, P4O8. So four is tetra. So that'll be tetra. Phosphorus. And then eight oxygens is going to be octa oxide. Octa oxide. And I'll just point out again, you don't need to drop the A here. That was an old rule for nomenclature. The more modern rules say to keep the vowel. So it is octa oxide. Now let's try a few the other way. So here we have the name, and we want to determine the formula. So di-nitrogen, well, again, di means two, so two nitrogens, N2, and then tetraoxide. Well, oxide must have come from oxygen, and tetra, we see, means four, so four oxygens, so N2O4. And notice again, like I was just saying, we do keep both vowels. You don't need to drop the A in tetra. Sulfur hexafluoride. Well, sulfur is S, and hexafluoride, well, hexa is six, so there's six fluorines. So S, F, six. How about diarsenic trisulfide? Well, arsenic is A, S, di is two, sulfide must have come from sulfur, and tri is three, so A, S, two, S, three. And our last two, Diselenium, so selenium is SE, and two of those because it's diselenium, and then monoxide. Monoxide is going to be one oxygen. Now, notice we did drop the double vowel here, monoxide, but you could leave it technically. Monoxide is okay, 
but monoxide is also an acceptable way to write that. That's the only time we ever drop the vowel off the end of a prefix. And our last one, pentanitrogen nona chloride. So nitrogen and penta would be five. So N5 nona chloride. We see nona is nine. So nine chlorines. N5CO9. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick video. As always, come and visit me at GetChemistryHelp.com, where you'll find even more free videos, lessons, and other resources that make learning chemistry fast and easy. Bye-bye.